I'm lost here with you, lost in the woods, lost as I should. Welcome to my channel. I am Jen and I am so glad that you are here with me today. We are going to clean the kitchen, the dishwasher, the upstairs, the bedrooms, the bathrooms. We are going to clean just about every room in my house today and we are going to paint the accent wall in my master bedroom. So a wide variety of activities happening today. Thank you for joining. This container is the bin that we use in the bathtub for all of the bath toys and it was getting pretty grody so I'm going to wash this up and then bring it upstairs because I'm going to clean out the bathtub in a little bit. So trying to get this all clean so I can put the clean bath toys into a clean bucket. I 
am actually unloading dirty dishes from this dishwasher because I need to clean this dishwasher thoroughly. And especially these ledges around the edges, they get really scummy and gross very quickly. So I'm gonna wipe these down, I'm gonna clean out the filter, wipe everything down, make it look nice, and then I'm gonna run a super hot cycle with some baking soda in the bottom and a cup of vinegar up in the top.
couple months ago I decided that I was tired of lifting this super heavy container of laundry detergent and so I bought this smaller container and now I just refill it every couple of weeks. It works way better. We also have a laundry cabinet that I painted quite a few videos ago and that has yet to be hung up so hopefully we can get that hung up in the next couple weeks so that I can put my detergent and all of the things on top of my laundry machines up into the cabinets and make this place a little bit less cluttered. even remember the last time I scrubbed down this bathtub which is kind of gross because my daughters bathe in here a couple times a week and I have no idea when the last time I cleaned this so that's just disgusting I'm gonna clean this out and then at the end I'm going to fill the tub with a couple inches of hot hot water and a little bit of bleach and I'm gonna put their toys in there and let them soak for maybe 10-15 minutes while I finish cleaning the rest of the bathroom 
and then rinse all that off really good so that their toys are nice and clean for their next bath. We're lighting up the sky, it's what we do. We shouldn't care about anyone or anything that brings us down. So come on now, let's be free. Just be yourself. Keep on doing what you do, doing what you do. Just keep on doing what you do. Okay, I had to slow-mo this next part because this top nearly hit the ceiling. Actually, I think it might have hit the ceiling when I tried to take it off. So I'm glad no one was with me because I probably could have injured another human while cleaning.
Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I met you in the summer When you left it was cold Said we loved one another really hard to vacuum our bedrooms quite often but this hallway I have not vacuumed for months and I know that's disgusting but I just haven't and I before I started my master bedroom this vacuum cleaner canister was empty and so this and my master were very dusty most of this came from the hallway because when you don't vacuum something for a few months, it tends to, you know, collect a significant amount of dust. Probably should vacuum our hallway more than once every quarter. Just a thought. in this house almost two years and when we first moved in I painted this wall in our master bedroom I wanted it to be a navy blue but I was scared to paint it a super dark navy because I didn't want it to look black so I picked this color and since the day I put it up I knew I didn't like it but I was painting our entire house and so I didn't have time to go back and fix it and every day since then I've looked at this and thought I just don't like that color my sister-in-law has been begging, harassing, just every word you can think of me to paint this wall navel by Sherwin-Williams. I think her sister painted a wall in her dining room that color and she thought I'd really like it. And she's right because I went and got the paint finally now two years later and I put it up. It probably took me an hour to do this wall and it looks so much better. It's 
way more what I was looking for. And now I think I want to get a couple different pillows for the bed. You know, it's just all going to start snowballing into different projects. But I do like the color of the new blue way better than what is currently on here. I'm going to tape this baseboard line here because while I don't use tape for a lot of things, the baseboards in our house are really hard to freehand the line perfectly straight. And so I do like to tape the baseboards off, but everything else I will freehand. It's gonna look super nice. As I said before, I painted every surface in this house when we moved in. I painted the ceilings, the walls, all the trim, all the doors, you name it, I painted it. And I used this painting shirt for all of it. I mean, I was to the point where I was getting so tired of painting that I was gonna burn this shirt when I was done. And I didn't because it's my only painting shirt. And so if you see the front of this in the video here, you'll see what I mean. It is just covered in paint. You can already see how much darker this new blue is. And it just looks, it looks so much better. So I have a couple minutes here of painting. It's pretty satisfying to watch, especially when I get to rolling the paint on. So sit back and enjoy. film yourself painting unless you have a very satisfying paint tape pull at the end. Look at how crisp this line is. Again this color is Navel by Sherwin-Williams and we can all thank my sister-in-law for pressuring me into doing this. Thanks for joining me, I'll see you in the next one. Take you anywhere